Hello guys, welcome back. Arthas here. And I know it's been a while since I've done a video on MTG Arena. Uh, it's actually been a while since I've played the game. I haven't touched the game in over, I'd say, two months now. And to my surprise, you know, I've damn near pissed myself when I got on here. And I saw they've added slivers into MTG Arena. Historic only, but slivers. Now, when my buddy was playing the game, you know, when I first started playing actual paper MTG Arena years back, slivers had just rotated out. The first ever releases of slivers, and they had rotated out. And my buddy would tell me horror stories of what slivers could do in the right hands. And I looked at him, I said, when are they ever bringing slivers back? And he told me, he, he looks me straight in the eyes, he's like, if they ever bring slivers back, I'm going to smack you. Now... Basically, I built this deck. Now, when I first built it, I wanted to use all the slivers. I didn't use any spells. I didn't use any buffs. None of that nature. I used all dual land, and it just didn't work. Now, I've refined the land a little bit. I've been toying with the deck for about an hour, hour and a half. And now, I use shocks, lightning strikes, and jazz greeting for a little bit of light creature removal. Some scry in there. I use the Striking Sliver for First Strike, I use the Sentinel for Vigilance, Mana Weft for a little extra mana, Predatory is my buff, Hive Stirrings for some, you know, cheap blockers, uh, Steel Form, make my creatures a little harder to kill, Spiteful Slivers. Now whenever my Slivers are dealt damage, they deal that much damage back to the enemy player. Tempered Sliver, you were dealt damage, okay, now my, creature gets a or my creatures were dealt damage, now they get a plus one, plus one. Lava Belly, every time one of my Slivers enters the battlefield, you take a point of damage, I gain a life back. Cleaving Sliver, let's make those Slivers a little bigger, give them a plus two, plus zero. And then, of course, first strike, or the first Sliver, we like, or yeah, they like. Let's give them Cascade. Plus, you know, he's a 7-7 seven, seven for five, and he can only get bigger after, or after Predatory Sliver, and Cleaving Sliver, and Steel Form. And then all the, you know, odds and ends he gets off from everyone else. So, let's jump into it. We're going to go do a quick match. Mind you, I'm not going to say the deck has a 100% win rate because truly no deck has a 100% win rate. Uh, most decks are lucky if they get maybe a 45 to 50% win rate. Maybe even 75, but nothing has 100%. And basically... How that's going to work out is I'm going to kind of try and do my best to swarm my opponent as quickly as possible. Alright, we don't have any reds. So we'll stick to the white and green. Drop this. Now, the better part of this deck is that, like elves, everything synergizes. Everything is able to work off from everything. When you're playing a sliver, you're building off from everything else. Everything else is going to work with everything else. Alright, we'll play the mana weft. Then we'll tap this down for green. Now see, because of the mana weft, all my slivers got, you know, add for mana. Now... The fun part's going to be, on my next turn, okay, so he's going to do Collected Company. What I'm going to do is going to be much worse than what he just did. Actually, yeah. Alright, tap down. This one's going to be for black. This one's going to be for blue. This one's going to be for red. And see, there you go. Alright. Yeah. Ba boom, ba boom. Now I have a 10 10 sliver. And I have the mana to blow up a creature if I want. Although I'm not going to leave myself open. Alright. I kind of want him to swing, but I guess he's not going to, so we'll drop this. 
We're gonna blow up the Elvish War Master. I mean, in all actuality, he's only got one mana. Okay, he's gonna collect a company off from it. Alright. Cool for Jay's greeting. What I might do is kind of hold off here because you can see how quickly an elf deck can get out of control. And I don't want to throw the first sliver away just to be killed by three elf warrior tokens because I'm not really taking anything with me. Okay, so this might be a bad example. So we're just going to take that and kind of roll with it. Now, like I said, not every deck has a great record, but still, we did learn a bit about the Sliver deck. It does not function well against that type of elf deck. Not quite yet, anyways. I haven't quite refined it enough. I might go as low as two colors, but I'm not sure. I still need that green for the extra mana. I still need that white for the protection. I need the red for burn and everything else. Now, what we learned there is basically the deck has some flaws, but with each passing game, I can tune it, refine it, make it hit harder, make it hit faster. Um, Basically, just take the slivers, you know, to the tool shed. You know, you got to figure out what in the deck is necessary, what is not. And that's what makes a experienced player versus a beginning player. A beginning player will want to build around a single card. I'm building around an archetype. You know, you have to take that single card mentality and toss out the window. Now, the whole deck as a whole works, as you saw. I was able to get the first sliver out within a couple turns. It wasn't hard. My slivers built upon each other. I tapped a sliver to play a sliver. You know, it all works out. And in regards to the deck, I'm happy with it. I'm glad they've added slivers back in. I'm hoping for some of the older slivers, really older slivers, because that's what I'd like to see. I'm waiting for Historic Horizons. Maybe they'll have some more sliver support down the line, or maybe they'll even add, I don't know, add some good stuff. Maybe they'll make an entire mastery around like old cards play so many games, you know, or advance so many so far down the mastery. Here's a good oldie but goodie. Here's another oldie but goodie. But as a whole, I do like the slivers. I don't have to play as much uh, protection or uh, kill spells. I mean, granted, I have to still run burn spells. But other than that, all I have to do is kind of go loosey-goosey with it, kind of tooled around the decks very uh what's the word for it it's very flexible there's not a set path for the win condition there's been a couple of games i've played where i never even saw the first sliver so he's not a win condition but as you saw he can get big really quick and become a problem now what i really need for that deck is a sliver that gives trample give me trample and i'm all set but either way guys i want to thank you guys for dropping in um, if you guys like the videos, smash the sub button, hit the bell to get notified when I go live and add more videos. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. You guys rock. Have an awesome day now.